Right then, are you ready for story time? And we are carrying on reading from the Jesus Storybook Bible. And today's story is called The Captain of the Storm. Let's see what happens. The sun was going down. The air was warm and still. Let's go across the lake, Jesus said to his friends. Jesus had been helping people all day and now he was very tired. So they left the crowds at the shore and they set out in a small fishing boat. Jesus climbed into the boat to take a nap. As soon as his head touched the pillow, he fell fast asleep. It was a beautiful evening. A gentle breeze rustled the sails. The friends chatted happily as they headed out into the middle of the lake. Everything was perfect, just right for a nice, quiet sail. They were only about halfway across when, out of nowhere, whirling winds swept across the lake, fierce and strong like a hurricane. A blinding flash of lightning lit up the sky. Thunder roared right overhead. The storm blew the water into towering waves that hurled the little boat up, up, up and then sent it hurtling, crashing down, down, down. The fishing boat was blown and buffeted and tossed and turned back and forth and up and down and left and right and round and round. And in the middle of the storm, Jesus was sleeping. Now, Jesus' friends had been fishermen all their lives, but in all their years fishing on this lake, they had never once seen a storm like this one. No matter how hard they struggled with their ropes and sails, they couldn't control their boat. This storm was too big for them. But the storm wasn't too big for Jesus. Help! Help! They screamed. Wake up! Quick! Jesus! Jesus opened his eyes. Rescue us! Save us! They shrieked. Don't you care? Of course Jesus cared. And this was the very reason he had come. To rescue them and to save them. Jesus stood up and spoke to the storm. Hush! He said. That's all. And the strangest thing happened. The wind and waves recognised Jesus' voice. They had heard it before, of course. It was the same voice that had made them in the very beginning. They listened to Jesus and they did what he said. Immediately, the wind stopped. The water calmed down. It glittered innocently in the moonlight and lapped quietly against the side of the boat, as if nothing had happened. The little boat bobbed gently up and down. There was a deep stillness and a great quiet all around. Then Jesus turned to his wind-torn wind friends. Why were you scared? he asked. Did you forget who I am? Did you believe your fears instead of me? Jesus' friends were quiet, as quiet as the wind and the waves, and into their hearts came a different kind of storm. What kind of man is this? they asked themselves anxiously. Even the wind and the waves obey him, they said, because they didn't understand. They didn't realise yet that Jesus was the Son of God. Jesus' friends had been so afraid they had only seen the big waves. They had forgotten that if Jesus was with them, they had nothing to be afraid of, no matter how small their boat or how big the storm. I hope you enjoyed that story. That is one of my most favourite stories. So let's have some time to think about the story. Thinking about it and answering these questions will get you ready to listen to Jesus later on. So my first question is, 
what was your favourite part of that story? Tell the people that you're with now. And now, what do you think was the most important part of that story? And lastly, where would you be in that story? Well done. Good thinking and talking about today's story. Now, I hope you were paying attention to that story because next we're going to have a little quiz on the story.